stories are how we learn and how we grow and how we fulfill our destiny. And a lot of people don't want to hear their, hear their own story or hear the story they need to hear. So that's sort of the, uh, the driver throughout the entire universe. I think I have a story to tell that's important and that people would find interesting and entertaining. Um, and that's what drives me to write every day. So I've always been writing. From the time of middle school and high school, I wrote poetry and began to get published and just kind of built on. I never thought I could carry a whole book, a theme that long, but over time, it just kind of grew. The folk tale universe, if you think of like the Marvel universe, where there's superheroes and they all have their storylines, but that their storylines intersect. Uh, that's the universe we're building with Folktale, but we're using uh, regional folk tales and legends from around the world. But the concept on the universal level is that there'll be multiple storylines that all exist within the same storytelling universe. It's a place where stories come to life and stories are powerful. It all started with the Nain Rouge, which was this regional folktale and legend. That's how I got involved with it and did a whole series on that. And what grew from that is this idea that regional folktales and legends actually are stories of the people. So they're embedded with the people themselves, with their thoughts and their ideas and their traditions. And so the folktale universe is all about you know, sort of discovering yourself through stories. The first book is called Phases of the Moon, where the audience is introduced to Aaron, who's the protagonist, who is just a regular kid in a Midwestern town who learns that he's a folk teller and that he has to be trained to learn the skills to tell the stories that people need to hear because there's this dark force that's entered the universe that's trying to take control. This first story in the series we're releasing as a book but people receive and interact with stories in different ways. So some people want to read it, some people want to watch a film, some people want to look at a graphic novel, which is more visually rich. And so we look at it as this is serialized storytelling content, um, which will be delivered in multiple ways, in multiple formats, and multiple platforms. So um, we're trying, to, even with this first book, you'll see it's got a, it's got a unique feel. Uh, we tried to give it a graphic novel feel, even though it is a is a traditional middle grade fantasy, you know, fiction story. This first book, this first story, is the gateway into the universe. So I I would love for people to be like, wow, this is like I've never read anything or seen anything like this before, and I want more. I want more. That's like, if that happened, that would be awesome. But that that's like in my in my heart and in my soul, the what I what I'd love to hear people say.